All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Hala Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And I saw this video. It popped up in my news feed. Um, it's from Reuters. As you can see, uh, in an oven, visitors react to Death Valley heat. In an oven, visitors react to Death Valley heat. Right? And um, as you can see, uh, the, on the thumbnail, <laughs> it's got Moab on there. She's all um, smiling, all proud. They had, you know, everybody that was there was pretty much, only one person that they showed in the video um, was, like, concerned. Because he was like, it's, it's, rec it's yeah, it's a record-breaking uh, day world world record uh, heats are being set but what's going to happen next year and the year after that and so on and so forth it's only going to get hotter and hotter so this is this is a bad sign right you know which i don't want to write this eye we won't go two three years you know <laughs> i don't want to write this eye a hey, 2023 the hopeful year where all the prophecies are fulfilled we looking to be up out of here any day now man you know which we don't know the exact day no man know if the hour but hey, through measuring the time diligently, we know it's close. Our redemption is nigh, you know. And either which way, we're hastening the day. You know, we're not we're looking to get up out of here yesterday. You know what I'm saying? But um, as you can see, Moab all giddy and laughing. You had uh, some Edomites laughing and shit. Uh, hey, we know the scriptures talk about the pride of Esau, right? Read the book of Obadiah. The pride of his heart have deceived him. But uh, another nation. According to the scripture that's known to be proud is Moab. The scriptures talk about the pride of Moab also, you know. But um, a bunch of scriptures came to mind. I got a couple um, pictures I wanted to show you to, so that you know you, it'll paint a better picture, a better picture in your mind. You know they say a picture is, is worth a thousand words, or something like that. However it goes, that saying goes, a picture, you know, a picture says a lot. And then I'll go through the scriptures, all right? I don't want the Rathazai to be edifying and, and exhorting. So um, on the thumbnail, you see it says, Tourists flock to Death Valley, where the heat was expected to set a world record. And I believe the thermometer is reading uh, 124 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's read a little bit of the, uh, the description. It says, Death Valley in California hit 128 degrees Fahrenheit. And many tourists visiting the U.S. National Park said they hoped to be part of a potential record-breaking weekend, you know? So a bunch of scriptures came to my mind, you know? Especially in regards to the, the title, In an Oven, you know? Because as, uh, as I'm going to bring out, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, you know? That day is quickly approaching, okay? What day is that talking about? A the day of our Lord's return, when he comes back with the thousands of heavens, you know, with, with all the angels, you know, in his full strength to destroy chiefly America, Babylon the Great, you know, in the midst of the third woe, you know, and, and that's going to leave the whole land, the land of America desolate, okay, you know, that day is quickly approaching, all right? So I got a couple um, of, of, of pictures to show you <laughs> so you can get a better understanding exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. And this is just, uh, um, this is nothing, man. This is just a small, an example of, of the missiles that the, the Lord's arrows, as the scriptures call it, his glittering sword, the waster that's coming to destroy. This is just a small uh, example of them, all right? You got uh, uh, missiles, uh, nuclear missiles, ICBMs on submarines. You got them on, on these um, different uh, um, naval ship carriers. You know, you got them uh, in silos in the earth. And you got them uh, on, on, um, uh, on, 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 on like uh, vehicles. 
you know they they got those uh, big vehicles which I which you'll see some you know this is just a handful of them like like this right here this ain't fucking uh, uh skyscrapers these are missiles man you know <laughs> the lord's arrows you know another example you know oppenheimer says what i have become the destroyer of the world i can't that movie's coming out so i can't wait to see that movie oppenheimer you know when he split the atom you know and he saw the power uh, of the atomic bomb which is what was dropped dropped on hiroshima and nagasaki they dropped a a you a, a fat fat boy and little boy a fat boy and little man or something like that they dropped a uh, uranium bomb and a plutonium bomb. They tested two, and they, like I said, they tested it, you know, and that's what stopped the, the, the Second World War, you know. You know, everybody was in awe. They couldn't believe the, the, the damage that those bombs did. But, hey, like it says in Joel, let the weak say I am strong. All these other nations, these uh, weaker nations got the great equalizer now. And, again, like I said, they dropped that bomb to, um, to, uh, they were testing it, you know, and to flex their strength, you know, and, and the new and that, that, like I said, that, those are atom bombs. Right now, we we hey, technology has increased. We had, we got nuclear bombs now, man, that are a hundred times more powerful than what was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's the um, like I said, you see that, that those vehicles like that. That's what they have now. Also, I forget what they call them. You know, the S four hundred and so on and so forth. Um, you know, the missile defense, they got, they, they, they're like, like I said, they're in submarines, they're on, uh, you got planes that are carrying them, you know, hey man, it's going to be a horrific day, you know, a horrific day, you know, this is the, this is what it's talking about, you know, and ultimately we know America and, and the land of Palestine will be completely destroyed. Other, other places are going to be hit also. You know, but hey, only America and, and, and the land of Palestine is going to be completely desolate. You know, that's the second death. So let's get some scriptures. Let's get some scriptures. I got a, a, couple, a bunch of them, even more, you know, you could probably think of even more. But these are just a couple that was in my mind, you know. And of course, this was the main scripture, you know. Um, uh, straight point, uh, straight to the point. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, behold means look, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, you know, like they were talking about in the, in this, uh, <laughs> they were all proud and shit, you know, happy, all giddy. They have no idea, <laughs> you know, what's coming, you know, <laughs> they got no idea. These people have no idea what they're in for. Malachi 4 and 1, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And we always go into it. It's not talking about the modern day oven. These gas ovens, these electric uh, stoves, these electric ovens. Nah, it's talking about, it's referring to an ancient oven. You know? I think they, I believe they call them kills that get extremely hot, man. You know? Extremely hot. You know? <laughs> you know? And that's just only, that's just a, that's just a, a that, that, that pales in comparison to, to the actual uh, heat that's going to come from the missiles. All right. So it says again, Malachi four and one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud. You saw the picture of that proud ass Moabite uh, woman. They had a proud ass Edomites. You know, and Jake. Our people proud as hell too. You know, all you proud. You see that that's who that day is coming for. The ones you that refuse to repent. You know, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day cometh that shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that shall leave them neither root nor branch. What's going to do that? That thermal nuclear destruction, the Lord's arrows, okay, you know, that are going to be shot off in the midst of the third's woe. And that day is quickly approaching, okay. This is uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And we're a people before a place, you know, you know, and that's ultimately why this judgment is coming for what you did to Yasharala. You know, right. You touch the apple of the Lord's eye and you're going to feel his indignation because of it. Okay. 
chiefly Esau, Edom. But all you heathens were confederate with them. All of you had a hand, uh, a hand in our downfall. As the scriptures say, the dogs licked our wounds. At Psalms 83, they're confederate with Esau. So you're going to go down with this goddamn devil. Okay? And, and prior to that, uh, all hell is going to be breaking loose. All right? All hell is breaking loose now. But you ain't seen nothing yet. All type of plagues, as it says in uh, the Apocrypha. All right? I believe it's 2nd Ezra. The Lord said he was going to plague Egypt again as before. All these floods, all these earthquakes, all these uh, wildfires, Canada's burning. You know, every all all manner of hell is, uh, you know, these people catching hell. You know, locusts and all type of droughts and all type of, you know, all type of plagues are, 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 are taking place in the earth. Chiefly here in America, Babylon the Great, but you ain't seen nothing yet. And the ultimate plague is going to be, the cherry on top is going to be those missiles. That's the ultimate plague, okay? That's the end all be all, okay? So it says again, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What's going to do that? Intercontinental ballistic missiles, thermal heat, thermal nuclear destruction. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. It's going to, that day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. That's, that's a judgment day. What Sarah Connor saw when she was holding on to that fence and she melted. That's what's coming. At least she repent. It says, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You're literally going to melt. Okay. Isaiah 63, um, the main points four, I'll start at one, Isaiah 63 and one, who is this that cometh from Edom, all right, and that modern day Edom is referring to America, Babylon the Great, Idumia, Nineveh, Assyria, um, you know, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, you know, all synonymous for America, Babylon the Great, the scene of great future judgment. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom? That's Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And all his strength. You know, with the, with the innumerable multitude of angels. You know, and what you ignorantly call uh, UFOs. Those are the chariots of, of, of the angels, man. That's, that's the way our Lord left. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. He left in a chariot. And he's coming back in a chariot to redeem his elect and, and punish the wicked. Who is this? That cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra. Basra is also synonymous for America. Basra was a chief city in Edom. Okay. You know. Which modern day Basra is America. This that is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. He's coming with the, uh, again the innumerable multitude of angels. And chariots. What you ignorantly call UFOs. In the midst of the third's woe. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and they and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. That's synonymous for all the dead bodies, you know, all the death that's gonna be taking place on the earth. I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury, because that's what you people don't understand. Yeah, how about Shimon Hawashai is angry. Angry every day with the wicked, man. And none of you going to get away. You know? None of you. Hey, when our Lord returns, yeah, how about Shimon Hawashai, you're going to feel that indignation, that righteous anger. You know? You're about to feel it. I don't want to rot his eye. We, we, we don't want no parts of that, man. You know? I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people, there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. This is the main point. For the, for the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come. You see? It says, uh, behold, that's in Revelation. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Clouds represents the, the chariots. 
and every eye shall see him, even them that pierced him, you know? That day's quickly approaching, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, again, look, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. He's coming, uh, hey, like uh, the Apostle Ram Lapsab. He, he's going to leap. As soon as Yahweh gives, gives him the green light, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is going to leap off the throne, man. He's coming in, in warp speed, man, you know? <laughs> For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, okay? For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be many. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming to get busy. He's coming to body some shit, like Jake like to say. He coming to, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is coming to get catch wreck. Okay, you know, he ain't coming to play with y'all. Ezekiel 21 and start at 7. Main point is in 10. And it shall be when they when they say unto thee, Wherefore seest thou that thou shalt answer for the tidings because it cometh? And every heart shall melt and all hand uh, fear for looking upon the things that are coming upon the earth. For the tidings, because it cometh, and every heart shall melt, the Egypt shall fail. You know, the strength of Egypt shall fail. For the tidings, because it cometh, and every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble. You ain't going to be able to do nothing in that day. You know? And every, hey, it tells you in 2 Ezra 13, hey, when Yahweh Shahimashiach comes with all the angels, even Esau, Edom, and, and all these heathens and their armies are going to be scared. But what? Durst fight. Because Yahweh is a man of war, Yahweh is his name, you know? The Lord is a man of war, Yahweh is his name. And this is the, 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 the last war, you know, the war to end all wars. And Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to put his spirit in these damn devils to fight. And they're going to lose horribly. It's, it says uh, in the scriptures, one hour. And one hour so great riches are going to come to naught. You know, it's going to be light work, man. It's going to be light work, you know? So it says... And every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble, and every spirit shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water. Behold, it cometh, and shall be brought to pass, saith the Lord, out of one Yahweh. Again, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, a, say, a sword, a sword is sharpened. Those missiles, it's ready. Say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished, it is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Yeah, all these proud ass demons, you know. <laughs> and now is the time to be all Murphy. Now is the time to sincerely repent. It said, Should we then make mirth? It cometh the rod of my son as every tree. That's the point. That's the point. You know, now is the time to be all, you know, now is the time to seek the Lord while he may be found. I'm going to have to wrap it up. Um, I had a couple more, you know, um, but um, they coming to uh, cut the grass around me. So it's going to get loud. So I'm, I'm going to wrap it up there. I don't want to rot his eye was edifying. I hit one more. You know, the, the point's pretty much made, man. The point is pretty much made. I'll close, close out here. Zephaniah 1 and 14. Hey, man, it would behoove you to sincerely repent. Zephaniah 1 and 14, the great day of the Lord Yahweh is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Because it's going to be a, a Daniel 12 and 1, a time like never before. This day is horrific, man. A horrific time is coming. Again, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. You know? So anyway, with that being said, I don't want to write this out. This was edifying. Keep pushing, man. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam dasharala.